amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another Taylor Swift reaction video I had I don't know if I'm ready for this one I don't know if I'm ready I have been told and it's been recommended so much and it is literally the number one Taylor Swift song in my comment section and my good friend Jamie who's recommending her favorite Taylor Swift performances for me to react to as well she's a huge Swifty everyone's told me I need to check out Exile. Everyone's told me. The Long Pond Studio Session performance of Exile. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. You guys, you guys have told me to buckle up for this one. So, whoo, I, I, I guess we'll see. Um, I'm very curious. My last reaction to Taylor Swift was completely different. We've seen this hard, like, like just badass style of Taylor Swift, right? With her intros to the concerts and everything have been flawless. And then... I literally saw a completely new side to her. This emotional, beautiful vocals, like such heavy feeling and weight behind the songs. Like it was so different. And now everyone's telling me to react to this. So I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also really excited. I'm going to stop talking. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for all your kind words. The comment section has been so sweet. Every, like, I love reading the comments and seeing what all of you guys are saying. Thank you so much to all of you for being so inviting and welcoming and just like really enjoying these reactions with me. I really appreciate all of you. Honestly, I'm surprised how much I'm liking Taylor Swift. I never thought I would. That's the truth. I never, I honestly thought my first reaction would be my last reaction. I cannot believe we're falling down this rabbit hole, but thank you so much for everyone joining me with it. And thank you for being so sweet. You guys are wonderful. What an awesome community. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. We're doing a huge push to 400k before the end of the year. I don't think I can do it. But we'll see. We're doing we're doing pretty well. So if you're not subscribed, please consider pressing that button. And let's jump into my first time every reaction to Taylor Swift, Folklore, the Long Pond Session Studio. Uh, with with Bon Iver, who I don't I don't think I know. Exile. Where was this filmed, by the way? Did one of you say in my last video, where exactly was this filmed? I can see you standing, honey, with his arms around your body. Laughing, but the joke's not funny at all. And it took you five whole minutes to pack us up and leave me with it. Holding all this love out here in the hall. I think I've seen this film before. I... Alright, so this is Bon Iver. I'm gonna say this right now. What an awesome voice. Those, like, sort of, like, deeper tones that he's bringing to this, that quiver he has in his vocals. He has a beautiful, beautiful voice as well. Really, really, really liking his voice so far. So, first introduction to Bon Iver. I like him what I'm hearing. Didn't like the ending. You're not my homeland anymore. So, what am I defending? Town. Now I'm in exile seeing you out. I think I've seen this film before This is a live studio session that really rings like true to how amazing Bon Iver sounds. He's got a fantastic voice. What a beautiful sounding voice. I can see you stay around, honey, like he's just your understudy. Like you get your knuckles bloody for me. Second, third, and hundredth chances, balancing on breaking branches. Those eyes add insult to injury I think I've seen this film before And I didn't like the ending I'm not your problem anymore So who am I offending now? You are my crown Now I'm in exile seeing you out I think I've seen this film before so I'm leaving out the side door. You know what I just caught myself doing as well, which was the second Taylor started singing, 
I smiled. <laughs> and I caught myself doing it. The second she started singing, I just felt this big smile come across my face. And I was just like, wow, I'm really, I'm really starting to love her. <laughs> We're like, yeah. Yeah, I was really, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, and then I just was looking at her and I was thinking, I was just looking at her sitting there and I was just thinking, how normal is she? This is someone who, when we checked out like her first two live performances that we reacted to, this was like, like a goddess that we're watching, right? And you're like, wow, like this confident, just absolutely dominating woman on stage, just, just controlling everybody's minds with her voice. Like, like she has a, like a mind control ray, but it's her voice doing it, right? And then, and then just seeing her sitting there, just thinking how Taylor literally just looks like so normal. Like this absolute superstar looks like you're everyone's friend. You know, does that make sense? I love that. I love that. She's doing a studio session and she looks so calm, so relaxed and so natural. And I love that. I love that so much. It just makes you like attached to her more. Does that make sense? I hope I'm explaining it right. So step right out. There is no amount of crying I can do for all this time. We always walk to very thin line. You didn't even hear me out. You never gave no one inside. All this time. I love that note she's doing. She comes in like high and then turns it into a whisper. It's so beautiful. It's kind of haunting weirdly, but it, her voice working with Bon Iver, they sound so nice together on this track. Wow. I couldn't turn things around. You never get no one inside. What's going on? What's happening to me? So what am I defending now? You are my town. Now I'm in exile, seeing you now. I think I've seen this film before. Do you know what is funny? You know what's so funny is it being on the outside looking in and being on the inside looking out. It's so interesting that I get to experience both of that. Because before I did my first time reaction to Taylor Swift, I just never had any interest in ever listening to her music, right? I was like, I'm never going to like it. It's not my kind of music. And that was how I felt. And I was on the outside looking in. I was one of those people. Um, and I, I'm always honest with how I felt, how I feel now. My reactions are always genuine. So you guys are always going to get truth from me. Um, and that was how I felt. I honestly was like, I'm never going to like Taylor Swift. And when my friend Jamie was like, check out Taylor Swift, I was like, I'm not going to like her. But if you recommend it, fine. I'll give it a go. And I did, and it blew my mind, and here we are now. <laughs> and it's all been genuine, and I've kept it as raw and as real as I can, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. But, like, it's just... It's just blowing my mind how how real she feels, you know? And, like, and what I'm saying is being on the, the outside looking in and the inside looking out, people say about, like, Taylor Swift's music and how it's all circled around, like, relationships and her relationships. And now I'm on the inside... It's making me realize how incredible that is. How someone as big as Taylor Swift pours her emotions and her experiences and how she's feeling and what she's gone through into her music. How she wears her heart on her sleeve and showcases it to the entire world. What a, what a powerful and encouraging, inspiring thing to do for the younger generation, for us, for every generation. To not keep your emotions and feelings bottled up and to share them with people. And Taylor literally does that with a whole planet. You cannot get someone more strong than that. That is incredible. So leaving out the side door. So step right out. There is no amount of cry I can do for all this time. We always want to everything.
this song is so good. Showing the perspectives of two different minds and mentalities in a situation like this and how one person feels one way and one person feels the other way. I went through a horrific... I've only ever had two re- strong relationships. I've had girlfriends, but I'd say I've only ever had two real relationships in my life. My first relationship was the most awful thing I've ever been through. It was so one-sided. And looking back at it, I can't believe I went through what I did. And I'm I'm angry with myself for going through that. Like, And now I'm married with someone who's just so sweet and i've got two beautiful kids and oh man it's um it's interesting how your mind gets warped when you're in a relationship and how you see things differently when you're out of it and i'm doing like a, i don't even know if this this song could be about something completely different like taylor swift like last one was about her record label and you never know when it comes to her what i'm saying is seeing it doing this reaction right now it's just making me like feel how i felt then and go through that all and, and bringing those emotions and not in a bad way but like seeing it and making me once again realize how stupid I was in such a, a horrible relationship. Like, in a, just a very mentally abusive one. And how... And when, you, when you're outside of it and you feel free, you feel like someone pulls the blindfold off. You're like, wow, that was me? What was wrong with me? And that's what I'm feeling listening to this. Two sides. Two different minds. channel from day one has always been the idea behind my channel was let's create a youtube channel i started doing reaction content last year 2022 started at like zero subscribers the beginning january 2022 and here we are now and the idea in january 2022 was let's start a reaction channel where i let the audience guide me where the audience recommends stuff so if you go back then and look at what i was reacting to and you come here now Every single video I've ever reacted to has been a genuine timeline of progression in my channel as the channel's grown with the audience recommendations from like K-pop to the Philippines to Indonesia and Malaysia to Bollywood music um, to anime content. All of that has come naturally as recommendations from my audience. I've never forced it. I've never pushed it. You guys have guided me there. And now we're here at Taylor Swift. And everything has come from my audience. This entire channel is controlled by viewers. It always has been. It always will be. I don't pick these videos. You guys do. The idea was to maintain an open mind and listen to music recommended to me by people all over the world and go into it and be honest about how I feel about it. And and I'm not like some musical genius or anything like that. I just react to this as a normal human being and I talk about how it makes me feel. And I'm I'm raw, genuine, as much as I can be on my channel. And I know I'll never be the biggest reactor, but I always want to be considered one of the most genuine reactions. You know, I want people to think like, oh, you know, I love this reaction channel. But if I want a genuine reaction to that song, I'll go to Luke. I'll go to GOT. That's where I go. That's what I want people to think. And that's what I always try to do. I try to wear my heart on my sleeve and just say how a song's feeling. And I'll say right now, Taylor Swift's kicking my ass. (laughs) She is. Oh, (sighs) I can't believe we went from, like, country, rap, rock, <clears throat> and over the last year and a half, I hear now. You know, I'm this sucker for K-pop, acapella, and anime. <laughs> like, a year and a half ago, I could never think about watching anime. Now I watch anime, and I'm listening to Taylor Swift, and I'm freaking loving it. <laughs> what happened? A year and a half ago, me would be like, what happened to you, dude? <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I grew the hell up, and I'm happy. I am, and I'm lucky, because I have such an awesome community. Oh my god, that was emotionally brutal and beautiful, and Taylor Swift just showcasing such such stunning vocals, along with, with Iva and how well their voices just work together. That was perfect. I can see why XR has been so heavily recommended. It is a beautiful performance and a beautiful song. A Bon Iver and Taylor Swift really conveyed... Um, like the different sides of a story beautifully in that. And I just feel like it was perfect. It really was. It really was perfect. <laughs> Why am I falling in love with this woman so damn quickly? <laughs> That's my. That might be my favorite reaction. I like feeling like this. I hate it and I love it. Because if I'm crying and I'm feeling like this, it's only because what I'm reacting to has made me feel like that. So that just means it's amazing. I cannot believe four four videos in, four reactions in, and oh man, 
I, I love her. I do. What happened to me, man? I've changed so much. <laughs> and I'm so happy about it. Oh. Oh, my friends. I hope you guys are all enjoying these reactions. I really do. I really do. I'm really enjoying it. I thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm going to go recover now. I know usually I talk a lot more at the end, but I'm feeling really emotional. <laughs> it brought up a lot of old feelings. Oh, man. XR. Wow. Bon Iver and Taylor Swift really work well together. Have they done more songs together? I would love to hear them two sing. They complement each other so nicely with Bon Iver's lower tones and Taylor Swift's higher notes and her whisper tones. It was just beautiful. Oh, man. Let me know what this song is about, please. I love knowing. I love reading the comments and knowing what the song's about. And please let me know what you'd love to see a reaction to from me to Taylor Swift or any other artist on this channel. Put all your recommendations down below. Like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this reaction. But more importantly, just have an amazing day. I really hope you do. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to cry. Oh, man. What's wrong with me? Oh, whew, that really hit hard. I'm going to go. Oh, oh man. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go recover. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. I love you wonderful people. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next one.